let's talk about what's in my current diaper stash. Most of you who know me know that I am a huge advocate for pocket style diapers and flats. They've been successful for me in the past and they are still technically successful for me now, but I've had a bit of a run in and it's not necessarily an issue with the style, it's an issue with the fabric and I'll get into that in a minute. But there is more to it than just the issues that I had. You see, back when I first started cloth diapering, using pocket style diapers with flats was really important to me for a couple reasons. One, because Autumn was an alligator. Changing her was already a learning curve without her rolling away. But more importantly, I was hand washing diapers and line drying them. Hand washing is very difficult if you're using something other than flats. You can do it, but it's definitely more difficult hand washing flats is just so much easier and the pocket shells wash really well too and then of course line drying the pocket shells and the flats was really easy i needed a quick turnaround time too because i needed to be able to hand wash line dry and have them ready by the next day my stash was too small to allow for you know numerous days in between washes now of course as i progressed in my cloth diapering journey i've added more styles and i've added more um brands into my stash. They've come, they've gone. A static for me was the fact that my stash was always predominantly pocket style with flats. Sometimes pre-folds, especially once I switched to a washer, but most of the time flats and pockets were always my go-to. They always washed reliably well. I very rarely had issues with them. Now back in the day, when athletic wicking jersey was introduced into cloth diapers, it was not well received. But then all of a sudden, a couple years ago, it took the cloth diaper market by storm. And I totally fell head over heels for it. I'm like, oh yeah, these are pretty easy to rinse off and they work, seem to work really well with keeping things dry. I did not like how much they stained compared to what I'm used to dealing with. But other than that, they seemed pretty good. And for a while, I actually thought, oh, rinsing these off from the poop is a lot easier. So over the course of two years, my stash slowly transformed from micro suede or micro fleece lined pocket style diapers to the athletic wicking jersey lined pocket diapers. And I had success and very little issue till I had an ammonia issue at the beginning of this year. Now I've had ammonia issues in the past and dealt with them promptly, usually just by washing with Grovia Mighty Bubbles. You clean the diapers, you wash them with Grovia Mighty Bubbles. Sometimes I'd follow that up with a quick bleach wash just to kill any bacteria that might have come out or anything. But other than that, I've never had issues beyond that. Like I always, ammonia can sometimes be an issue of buildup, not just ammonia, but buildup in the fabric. And so oftentimes treating ammonia is not the hard part. It's finding the reason for the ammonia that is. But in my case, it ended up being like a perfect storm scenario. I let the diapers go a day or two too long and they were just particularly pungent. So I ended up with an ammonia issue, which is no big deal to me. I've dealt with ammonia before very successfully and not had an issue until I realized the diapers were getting worse and worse and worse. And it got to a point where I couldn't even use them because they were burning juniper. What was odd to me was I was realizing I was only having an issue in most cases, but there were some times where the issue seemed to kind of go away a little and then come back really bad and then go away. And I thought maybe some diapers are the culprit and not others. And over the course of a, what ended up being two months of just battling this, I realized it's only the athletic wicking jersey. When I got rid of the athletic wicking jersey diapers out of the stash, the problem went away. And so all my conventional ways of treating ammonia had cleared up the issue in all of the diapers except the athletic wicking jersey. After a whole lot of frustration, I finally reached out because, you know, at some point I had to admit, you know, I don't always have the answers. <laughs> and I'm very much guilty a lot of times of being determined to solve it myself. And really, I'm just frustrating myself for months. So I reached out and a dear friend of mine who owns a cloth diaper shop and a brand and she recommended I put baking soda in a bowl, a little squeeze of dish soap, and then add enough hydrogen peroxide to make a sort of paste. Uh, she told me to slather that paste all over the lining of the athletic wicking jersey, let it sit for a while, then let it soak and wash it as usual. This sounded excessive and overkill. <laughs> and I was, I told her, I said, I'll try it, but if this doesn't work, I, what else am I gonna do with them? They are burning the baby. 
all of it. Even the tabs where the Athletic Wicking jersey was lined on the inside was bothering her. The entirety of the Athletic Wicking jersey was irritating her. So I had to cover the entire inside of all of these diapers with this paste that I made. And after letting it sit for like, I only let it sit for like 20 minutes to be honest. And then I put them all in a five gallon bucket in my tub and filled it just to covering with hot water, as hot as I could get it from the tub. And then I kind of shoved, I think, the plunger in the bucket just to make sure everything stayed submerged. And I let it soak for an hour and then rinsed everything out in the tub because I did not want to risk putting any kind of dish soap into my machine. It's an HE machine. Dish soap and HE, not a good combination. I don't care how minuscule it is. I don't want to risk it. So I rinsed them in the tub and then I washed them as usual. And for the first time in like at that point, three months, I think it was, maybe three and a half months, I finally had the AWJ diapers not burning her. But at this point, I had already not been using them for so long, and because I had bought into the whole AWJ and diapers thing, most of my stash was Athletic Wicking Jersey Line pocket diapers. And so the majority of my stash wasn't able to be used, so I had to use kind of like my Plan B stash. And my Plan B stash is a stash that I typically use when I'm dealing with like yeast or something because 100% cotton and yeast, yeast do not like 100% cotton. And so I usually can just switch to that stash and not have any issues and everything works fine. So I pulled my plan B stash out for which I'm very thankful for keeping because I had actually considered getting rid of it. So all my covers, including the covers I was currently using, but I also pulled out covers that were just kind of in my backup pile and all of my pre-folds. I was using those in the meantime and I realized a couple things. One, I didn't have any more rash issues. Getting them clean was not difficult, even with the pre-folds. And two, the laundry was so stupid easy. I used pre-folds and covers with my newborns because I prefer them for my newborns. Even with having to pin the diapers on or using a snappy to affix pre-folds onto newborns, which is actually my preferred method of cloth diapering, I preferred that laundry that way because I didn't necessarily have to fold the laundry. I could just grab what I needed out of the basket if push came to shove. And when you have a newborn, you don't really feel like doing much more than you have to. I mean, you should be recovering. So other than the fact that I was having the issues with the athletic wicking jersey, the other factor that came into play was just time. I feel like time is running away from me. So since I don't have a ton of time, any amount of time I can free up is great. Pretty much the time I've spent making this video is the time I've saved by switching my stash over. Do you want to see how long it takes me to fold laundry? I wash diapers probably once every two days. And honestly, I would fold my pre-folds in thirds and stack them like that. But what ends up happening is they kind of shift it and then I have to fix them anyway. So what I end up just doing is just folding them in half and stacking them and then I fold the diapers in thirds as I use them. Hey baby. So <laughs> the baby's like right there and she just thinks she's so stupid cute. And you are. Yeah. So you can watch. See how long it takes me to fold diapers? Does it take long? Not really. My thing is, is that pocket style diapers, the main drawback for using them is that you have to stuff them. And you know, that, that time it takes on pocket diapers is compounded when you use something like flats because you have to fold the flats. It's not a long, long time. It's not so long that it deterred me for some what, like six, seven, eight, nine, like six years, six or seven years I've been diapering now. It hasn't been enough to deter me. And even when I've been crunched for time before, it wasn't enough to really stop me from using pocket styles with flats. The thing is though, that it does take time. And so even for with a couple days worth of laundry, I was spending an average of about 10 to 15 minutes on a load of diapers, getting them folded, stuffed, and stacked. And here's one of the all-in ones that are still in my, my uh, rotation. This is the easy all-in one. I really like it because I don't have to match things or snap anything in. I just Lay it, fold it, put it away. Pale liner. The only flat that should be in here, but isn't in here because I accidentally forgot to line the bottom of the pail with it, is I have one flat that I use to line the bottom of my pail just because it's the same one I always use. But it's not in here because I forgot to use it. <laughs> but yeah, I just stack the 
I fold the pre-folds in half and the covers in half. The covers go into a bin and the pre-folds sit on the shelf. And it only takes me maybe a couple seconds longer than it does with pocket style diapers to use this method because I don't do any fancy folds or pinning with the pre-folds. I fold them in thirds and I lay them in the cover. So it takes me a whole extra, what, five seconds to do that and then put the diaper on her just like I would any other diaper. And I mean, since I've been doing this enough, even with Juju being twitchy, it's not quite as intimidating as it was to me before. But the I do have a couple pockets in rotation. I like the kawaii ones, which is the one I've got here because the, um, which I use my small pre-folds with because the kawaii has the soft lining and it's got the Velcro tab. So I use that with like caregivers at church or something, or sometimes my daughter likes using them, but I think it's really funny. My daughter, like we went through a brief phase when it was having the ammonia issues that we used disposables to try to get her butt to clear up. And she was like, I can't figure out these disposables. <laughs> She's like, I like the cloth better. She can put the cover with the flat one there and she finds that easier than using a disposable diaper. I think that's absolutely funny. She's like, I like the, I like the, dispose, uh, the cloth diapers better. I'm done. <laughs> so like these two go in there. This stack of pre-folds goes right over here. Whoop. These go in this bin. This, I just kind of lay there because it ends up going in my bag. Wipes, any wipes that I use, which I actually only use that one wipe for this load, <laughs> um, goes up yonder. And then this goes over by the pail. That's it. That's all the time it took me to do laundry. I average, I timed it because I've recorded myself doing it a couple times and I only average two to four minutes doing diaper laundry anymore. Usually three minutes is about what it takes me versus 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes for one load. And we're talking me doing laundry like every other day to every third day. So I was spending an average of about 30 minutes a week doing diaper laundry, maybe 35, 40 minutes. It just depends on how many diapers she goes through. She doesn't go through a whole lot of diapers anymore. I try to stay on top of the diaper laundry so that I don't risk having like ammonia buildup or anything. But I'm like, I'm already done diaper laundry. And it's put away. Eat the baby! But there is also something I've noticed with Juniper is that I have a lot less issues with rashes or anything. With her being in the pre-folds, or those are actually Panelino Bambino tri-folds. They're the bamboo cotton fleece ones. They're so soft. I love them. They're so soft. They're really absorbent. They're a lot more absorbent than my Green Mountain Diaper Cotton pre-folds. I still like the 100% cotton, but those work really well, and I can even use those for overnights. You got your blankie? You got your blankie now? See the birdie? So my current stash is, I think I have about 18 of those Panelino Bambino Cotton Fleece Tri-folds. Even off the line, they're surprisingly soft considering how rigid and stiff things can be when they're hung on the line. They are so soft. They're really absorbent and even after washing them, they didn't like shrink a whole bunch or anything. So that's been really nice. But I also use my cotton pre-folds because I don't have enough of these to last a couple days. If I had another like maybe six, it would probably be easier for me to rotate. But 18 is just not quite enough. And then all I do is I grab one fold it in thirds, lay it in her cover, and change her. And, you know, if her cover is still relatively dry, I just reuse the same cover. I can just take the pre-fold inside out and then lay this one right inside. Don't even have to do a whole lot more than that. They're all right there. I change her here on my bed. What are you getting into? Even when I had used pre-folds and covers in the past, I had still been using pockets and flats because I have two in diapers usually when I'm doing that. Like I said, I normally do covers and pre-folds with young babies like newborns and in the first couple of months. And pretty much always, please don't play with daddy's glasses, but pretty much always I've had an older baby in diapers too and they are often using the pockets with the flats. So this is actually my first time that I only have a handful of pockets that I keep on hand and I've been predominantly using pre-folds, or in this case, tri-folds, which are basically the same thing as pre-folds, and covers. Hello. What's it all about, Charlie Brown? You want me to read you that? You can read it. So, it's not that I currently have an issue with athletic wicking jersey, but 
in the process of trying to find a resolution to my issue, I did a lot of research about the fabric itself. I didn't learn much new that I didn't already know, but when I applied that information to cloth diapers, which I hadn't done before, I realized maybe this is a really dumb idea. I don't mean to degrade anybody because all of my favorite brands, all of my favorite cuts and styles and brands of pocket diapers, pretty much all of them are athletic wicking jersey lined. You know, there are a lot of people who struggle with getting their sports gear clean, and usually the solution is use a specialized detergent, wash them very frequently, don't leave them soiled, like rinse them first. The more I learned about AWJ, the more I realized this really is not a good idea. And then another thing that surprised me is that as Juniper got older, her stools got a lot thicker and even tackier. And so I had been spending a long time rinsing those diapers because I couldn't get them off. Like they were just stuck to the AWJ. When I started using my kawaii pockets again, even the Pampers, which is like super fluffy, it dawned on me those did not take hardly any time at all to rinse off. And a huge reason for that is that all that fuzzy lining inside enables the water to get under the poop to just push it off. So I realized these are actually a whole lot easier to rinse off if you have something like really sticky thick poop comes right off. There was something about that poop that was just adhering like glue to my AWJ after a while. And I don't know if that's because it was wearing out or because her poop changed. I assume it's because her poop has changed as she's gotten older. But the micro fleece line diapers, it comes right off. And I think it's interesting because she has a particularly sensitive hiney. And I've noticed since I stopped using the AWJ lined pocket diapers that I've had far less issues with rashes with her. It went from a reoccurring issue to almost non-existent. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, as far as covers go, I use a lot of the same covers that I talked about the brands and such in my favorites tag. Some of the things I haven't talked about in my favorites tag, perhaps, um, I did not mention the Lunapaca. Lunapaca is an alpaca diaper. It's not wool, it's alpaca and is definitely a whole lot easier to take care of than wool because you do not have to lanolize it. The trade-off, it is incredibly expensive, but I got one to try and it is definitely one of my favorite, very breathable covers. Um, it's all right for daytime. I wouldn't use this overnight like I would wool. I find it's not quite enough for of protection for overnight, but definitely well for daytime. And I love that washing it is really easy. You don't want to stretch it, distort it, hang it funny or anything. So you handle it like wool, but you don't wash it like wool. I would like to have more of these, but they're so expensive and I'm almost on cloth diapering. And so I can't bring myself to do it unless I'm like really compelled. But I do like this a lot. I also really like Thirsties still. So I have my Thirsties covers. I love Assembly Baby. They're my favorite for overnights, especially. I have the Best Bottom, the bigger Best Bottom cover. Um, I love this print. It's like my favorite. So this one's still in rotation. Um, another Thirsties. Love the colors. Another, is this the bigger? Yeah, another bigger Best Bottoms. Love this. This was um, a Jake Stipers auction. So worth it. <laughs> this cover, this is one of my original covers from 2016, 2017. So one of my first Nikki's diapers. Love it. Um, do I have more Nikki's covers? No, I pretty much got this one because I really liked the print. You Are My Sunshine is a song I sing to all of my babies, trying to get them to sleep. Another Thirsties, another Thirsties, my, probably my all-time favorite Thirsties print, actually. Um, I use a lot of Pan Bam, so I don't have much in here because they're in the wash. So this is the Pan Bam Slim Fit cover. This is my new favorite, and when she gets more, I might actually get one or two more of these because this is amazing. This is the Eco Fit, I believe. and. It just fits so well. Definitely one of my favorite covers now, like one of my new favorites. Another Thirsties, because I have lots of Thirsties. It's funny because I use all my Pam Bams until I run out and then I use all my Thirsties till I run out and then I have a mix of everything and, and Assembly. Assembly kind of gets mixed in there and that's the predominant brands in my stash. Um, another Assembly Baby. And then I have this one Baby Boo. I absolutely love the Baby Boo pocket diapers. The covers I'm not the biggest fan of because of how tight the leg elastics are. It's always been a little too snug, but I love this print so much. And so I, I do keep this one in rotation and use it even though the fit around the legs is a little tighter than I prefer. So that's the majority of my stash. Juju has just torn out all of my 
micro fleece liners that I've been using since Telfern was a baby. Um, that was 2017, beginning of tw very, very beginning of 2017. Other things I have hiding over here. I have my Thirsty's Hemp Prefolds here. I use them sometimes for overnight. Uh, I do have some flats and pre-flats here. So I've got some pre-flats. Pre-flats are those things that look like this. Um, I like these a lot and I use them sometimes. I mostly just use the trifolds because I'm lazy. I also still have Juju's newborn flats here. They're kind of mostly back up if I run out of pre-folds, which I usually don't, <laughs> um, or if I just feel like using it. I have the easy all-in-one from Pan Bam, which is my favorite all-in-one because it truly is an all-in-one. Everything is sewn in. It's really easy to clean off. Um, you just overlay them, fold them in half, and it's, there you go. I have my kawaii pocket diapers. So like I said, I have pocket diapers still in my stash, but they're stuffed with pre-folds and I only have a couple. Um, so I have two of those. These are three. I have three of them. I have three of them. <laughs> um, and that's because the uh, other one is in my diaper bag because I keep one in my diaper bag at all times. I don't usually carry more than one diaper because I don't even usually need that one in the first place. I have one Thirsty's all-in-one in here just in case. I pretty much never reach for it. It's just there if I feel like it or if my daughter feels like it. I have a diaper right all in one because these are my favorite for overnights and just because I really like this print. I love the stripes. And then this is actually another an assembly baby cover, but it's got the fitted inside and I don't usually grab it. In fact, I don't even know why it's here. I don't even know when's the last time I touched that diaper. In fact, I think I'll just, I'll use the cover but I don't usually use these. And in fact, in fact, this should probably go in here with the absorbency because whatever. I really like the Easy All-in-One. I think this is the only newer one I have and I have some other older ones, but in an effort to try to keep my stash from being overwhelmingly too huge, I am keeping them organized by season as well. Yes, I'm a seasonal cloth diaper person. So this is, I only have one out right now, but I have more in my seasonal storage. Now, when it comes to seasonal diapers, some of the covers I'll probably pull out and store when I switch everything from summer to fall, which will be very soon. Juju gave me all of the, <laughs> all of my micro fleece. I still use these on occasion. If I have to use a cream on her, and by the way, speaking of cream, if you're ever using a salve or a cream or anything, I don't care if it says cloth diaper safe or not, especially if you're using athletic wicking jersey line the diaper because athletic wicking jersey loves oil and clings to it for freaking dear life so unless you want wash issues use a liner i don't care if it's cloth safe or not but i've had those liners and i still use them on occasion with juniper but i've been using them since Tallfrim was a baby i used them on his butt january 2017 and that was just with a little section of i think it was a half yard of fabric i bought from joann's with a 50 percent off coupon paid like a buck 50 for it cut it into rectangles and been using it since so that's what's in my stash um that's why i use what i use that's the issue that i had with athletic wicking jersey and honestly my husband even said well i have a feeling you don't want to use them just because you're a bit traumatized from your experience i said yeah, probably because her butt got so bad it was nerve-wracking. Like nobody wants to see their baby in pain like that. Yes. Nobody wants to see their baby's butt get burnt. When you're trying to diaper your child and you're having issues and you can't solve it, I mean honestly any issue I have that I can't solve it leaves me feeling deflated. So I realized, you know, life is too short to struggle unnecessarily. I have what works already. That's the thing. I literally have what works. And I told my husband that. I said, you know, I would go back to the pocket diapers, but why? So that's what's in my stash. If you've ever had issues with athletic wicking jersey, let me know in the comments below. I went two years using it before I even had issues. So I know some people who have had issues quickly, some people who have not had issues ever, some people who had issues after a while. For me, it was two years of using it and then I ran into a very big issue, which took, I think, kind of drastic measures to resolve. Not super drastic, but definitely a little more labor intensive to fix. It just put it, things in perspective, you know, I don't think AWJ is really all that great for diapers. And I know some people are going to be upset by me saying that, but it's just my opinion and based on my experience and based on what I read, I'm glad for people who can get it to work and people who do find it easier and 
are benefiting from it because I had two. And that's why most of my stash turned into that. But it goes back to advice that I've given before about don't make your stash all one brand because if something happens, you'll regret it. While it wasn't all one brand, it was all one style with the same kind of athletic wicking jersey line pockets and that proved to be a big issue for me. And again, I'm thankful for my covers and pre-folds because they saved me in the end. And they're saving me time. So then it was just like, why bother going back? It's not even that hard to use. It's literally an extra like three, five seconds of folding, so. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. I am going to be hopefully working on that series, Introduction to Cloth Diaper series soon. I just wanted to get this video out before I start doing that because I know some people were curious as to what I have and why. And I wanted to share my experience with AWJ just as a precaution because I'm not saying you shouldn't buy it or that you should throw yours out. Please don't take it that way. But I'm saying if you have an issue, Doing what I did might actually solve it if you can't find anything else that works. I'm mostly sharing what, help, what helped my diapers so that I can hopefully help one of you if you ever face this kind of an issue. In fact, you need a diaper change. So let's change your butt. Eh, you change your butt. Because I think, yeah, I think you're wet. So grab a trifold, trifold it. <laughs> It's just a pad fold. Let's put you in You Are My Sunshine. How does that sound? So, let's slip that under your butt. No rolling away. You want that one? How about we do that one next then? Two. Oh. And snap the date on. She keeps trying to run away. <laughs> I'm not done snapping your diaper. <laughs> I'm done now. <laughs> Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.